The question really is, is type 2 diabetes reversible? The short answer is absolutely yes. The real answer, or the longer version of the answer, is more complicated, and there are several nuances to it. Diabetes is a very personal type of impairment. I think all of us probably have someone in our lives who has it, or we may have it ourselves. So we know it's very common, and we know that the implications of it are significant. We know that there are higher rates of heart attacks with people who have diabetes. They can develop neuropathy, they can develop blindness, they can develop kidney problems. So it is a significant concern. And when we talk about the obesity epidemic and rising rates of diabetes, that all then has an impact on society as well as individuals. So yes, I do think we all need to have concern about it. It's a very, very high bar that we have to cross in order to use that term. What it really means is the complete absence of any signs or symptoms of that particular disease, along with any other associated findings or consequences related to that disease. Thus, for diabetes, it's really an extremely difficult uh, term to apply. I think it's better for us to use the term remission which simply means the absence of signs and symptoms, but it's not quite as broad as that true cure. And the other point to remember is that the relapse rate is extremely high, even after a remission of diabetes. I think we need to convey how difficult it is to achieve remission and then to maintain it. It really is a lifelong process that the person has to undertake. You think about the conditions that lead primarily to the development of type 2 diabetes. That's a lifelong process. Whether that is a poor diet, lack of exercise, it takes years for type 2 diabetes to develop. Thus, the reversal also takes quite some time. One has to lose weight, one has to change their, their behavior when it comes to their diet and nutrition and exercise, and that does take time. Now, perhaps the quickest way of achieving remission, and that's still not a quick fix, and that is through the use of bariatric surgery. That is demonstrating a very relatively rapid loss of weight and a fairly quick uh, return to uh, at least improved, if not normal, blood glucose levels. Remission does occur, but also keep in mind that the relapse rates are very high. And last, then what you need to do is underwrite individuals with remission cautiously, but at the same time with an open mind. The question regarding prevention is extremely important. Today we've been talking about reversing a disease process that has already occurred, but I do not want to take away from the fact that we should really be focusing on preventing diabetes from occurring in the first place, and that is through supporting nutrition, diet and exercise, and a healthy lifestyle.